Hello friend, this is a very quick tutorial on Selector Sub, how to use it and if you want to learn all the features in detail, I have added the link in the description for the detailed tutorial, so please refer there. First of all, what is Selector Sub? Selector Sub is a free browser plugin which can help you to learn all about XPath selectors, generate, auto-generate XPath, relative XPath, etc. It supports all kinds of web elements like Serodom, iframe, etc. And this is very helpful, a huge time saver. It is available for all the browsers. If you, uh, how you can add it, just go to selectorsub.com website. Here, for whichever browser you want to install, just click on that. Suppose we want to install on Chrome, click on Chrome. Here it will open that like add to Chrome browser button here, click on this and add extension. Once you have added in your browser, you will see that extension logo will be here. By default, it will not show. Just click on fit to toolbar. Don't try extension on the blank tab as well as on the browser store here. Always open a website. So here you can open a website. Let's say this is the practice page. You can try this guys if you haven't tried this practice page. Now where you can see the actual selectors of tab where you, you see all the generated XPath selector, right click on any element, click on inspect and on the right side generally like when you will open dev tools it will be on the left side you will see the elements tab on the right side there are two arrows you will not find selectors of uh, like this so just click on these two, two arrows selectors of will be the last step click on this and this is how you can see or you can just expand it to see that get a pr proper view. Here you can just register like this is a one time registration here it is required once you register this will never ask you to uh, enter email id or password just click on register and this is how you can see that this is how selectors have opened here you can see all the auto generated selectors all possible selectors here whichever you want to copy you just click on that and the value is copied if you want to add it here add it anything just click on this to add it and here you can verify you see that all the error message and everything selector sub supports if you want to write your own xpath here you can build your own xpath if you want to build your own css selector here you can build your own css selector everything is possible here if you will be making any mistake this will help you that what is wrong in your xpath what is wrong in your css selector so that helps this is a smart editor so it will help a lot there are a lot many time saver features like uh, these all icons, they are huge, huge time saver features. So please do check out the detailed tutorial to learn all about them. And this is very helpful. Like any element, if you inspect, it will give you all the information, like whether it is inside Shadow DOM, what is the script, what are those selectors, what is possible, what is not possible. Every single information it will give you, like if it is inside closed Shadow DOM, it is inside iframe, it is inside multiple iframe, it is, if it is SVG element. So all those things, it helps a lot and this will really really help you guys a lot of time so this will help you a lot so these you just keep inspecting the element and it, it will keep giving you all the information another great feature it has that you need not to if you don't want to open selectors up you just right click and here from the context menu you can copy the value of selectors so they are really it has a really incredible features which can save a tremendous amount of time please watch the detailed tutorial this uh, link is given in the description and with that, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you like this video and you like the selector sub. Please let others know. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you.